I remember shooting that. We were down in the village uh, shooting in a loft. It was really nice because actually we shot all in one sort of area, one location, and it felt quite, for lack of a better word, real. And of course, there's the pursing of the lips. Which means? Catastrophe. It was just, honestly, another fun day on one of the best movies I've ever been a part of. All right, everyone, gird your loins. Uh, we improvised a whole bunch of lines. We wrote down a whole bunch of stuff, and then we'd make stuff up. But David's the one who came up with that one, and it, and it stuck. You did have a feeling that it was a very special project. I remember my last day of filming, all, all I could think was, well, I don't, I don't want to leave the set. And I sort of lingered around for a while. <laughs> I would say just continue to enjoy it <laughs> because it doesn't, it doesn't come along all the time. So that's Miami Vice, where I strangely look like Bobby Cannavale. No wonder we played brothers once. There, there I was being a very bad guy. <laughs> Diet right, Central Bribery Jury, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I don't bribe people. I don't bribe people. It's against the law. You, all you wanted to do was get a job. And, and that was a good job to have. Um, it was a hit TV show. You know, it was just another way of working, working your way up. I didn't know the books. My wife, when I told her that Gary had offered me the role, I didn't even get it out of, finish getting the sentence out of my mouth. When I said, there's a book called The Hunger, she said, do it. Because she knew the books. She's a literary agent. What a night. Let's hear it. That's so exciting! <laughs> and to be able to play a character that is that bold, melodramatic, extreme was really, really satisfying because there's a darkness underneath all that bizarre, weird humor. And of course, the costumes, makeup, hair, all that stuff just took it to a whole nother level. As an, as an actor, it's, the, it's kind of like the perfect role. Here, this was in the Cotswolds. Um, we were taking a family vacation and I was cooking a obviously a lot of pasta. I love acting and I love the camaraderie that movie sets bring. But the same holds true for being in the kitchen. Being in the kitchen is a wonderful thing, but the camaraderie and conviviality of sitting at the table together is ultimately what, what one wants. Food is a really crucial part of our lives and sharing it with people. If you think, oh, I can't cook, you know, I don't necessarily believe that. I think cooking is something that really most of us can do and, and should try. Sometimes it takes a little more effort than one would like, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, I just started a partnership with San Pellegrino and I was very flattered that they came to me because it's amazing water and it comes from this incredibly beautiful, pure uh, place, which is right outside the, win the window here. I love Italy and obviously I love Italian food and I love all things Italian. My parents are incredibly proud of their Italian heritage and they've taught me to, to be the same way. So staying true to your roots, I think is a really crucial thing for immigrants. When you're confronted with a society that maybe doesn't accept you, then that's a really difficult thing. I think it's really important for people to be able to assimilate but still hang on to their to hang on to their traditions. The more we do that, the stronger that group of immigrants will be, but also the stronger the society they've moved to will be, the richer it will be. We don't all want to be the same. That would be pretty boring, wouldn't it?